So you know what's interesting about Tad Bulb here is that Tad Bulb evolves into a Pokemon called Belly Bolt, which is a full-on electric type Pokemon, but it has water type moves. The way to evolve Tad Bulb is through a Thunderstone. Do I have a Thunderstone? Battle items, no. Other items? Would it be here? Would it be here? It'd probably be here, right? Yeah, it'd definitely be here. So I gotta find a uh, Thunderstone. That should be easy enough. Probably not, but Bella Bolt, I will. <laughs> a, little, a little nugget chilling out over here. All right. How about let's go for a low kick instead? So these are the three Pokemon. I'm gonna keep them all in these, on the team here. These are the three Pokemon. Tadbolt, um, which will evolve into Bellybolt. And then, you know, you have, um, you have Kabungus and Mankey, which I'll rename eventually too. So uh, now I got like half the team, but now, now I'm committed, right? I'm committed. I know what the team is going to be. So I'm glad I looked at the Pokedex to get kind of a foreshadowing of what each of the moves will be. Yeah. And then like see like a, an ability like that static is really helpful, especially for uh, a lot of battles and whatnot. So now I can go after the water type gym with ease. If this is the situation here with this, I love this little light bulb too. I was really hoping that this would be part of the um, the team because I, I like I just like the look of it, you know. All right, so uh, Swagger uh, raises its attack stat. Um, no, actually, no. I don't like when moves enhance the enemies. I'm not uh, not a big fan of that. So I'll keep exploring though, and hopefully find a Thunderstone. So I'm just gonna kind of wait on the Thunderstone. I'm not gonna actively pursue it. But now that I have an idea of what the team is going to be, I feel a lot more confident going into the next couple areas here, and especially going into the, the Titan over toward here. So I'm going to battle some trainers and, and see what happens, um, and then go after the Titan next. And then maybe on the way to the Titan, I can get a Thunderstone and evolve into a Bella Bolt there. But if in the meantime, I have some water type Pokemon, or rather, some water type moves I can teach, then that'd be even better and even cooler. Uh, this is Pineco. I'll show this battle because why not? But Pineco is level 15, protecting all sorts of things. So uh, Mankey evolves at level uh, 20, I should say, level 20. And um, the way of which Mankey evolves will, I guess, be known eventually. This fly is still bugging me. So um, I actually have a lot of candies and stuff too, so I may actually use that on Mankey here just so I can get to uh, Primeape a little bit more easily. Um, I believe Pineco is a bug type Pokemon, so I'm gonna swap out two Kabungus. Um, the level disparity between the other team members and now Kabungus, way, it should not be that way. So maybe some off camera battling or sending out Pokemon in general, I'm going to uh, level them up effectively here. So Fire Spin should work very nicely. You're using Protect again. That's just delaying the inevitable because you know exactly what's going to go down. So that's on you. Cool. You're doing that again. You can't deny it, Pineco. Come on. Come on. Seriously? Yeah, you can't use it twice in a row, I don't believe. That's the main draw there. And there we go. So uh, Mankey gets a little bit of extra XP because it was in the battle. So that's great. Um, but unfortunately, I mean, everybody gets EXP, right? Just not nearly as much as it should. Um, Nimble, we know how this is going to go. Nimble does have uh, three total evolutions. So if you want to go for Nimble, you can. I That's what I'll do from now on. To be slightly informed of what's happening in the game, I'll let you know if there's a, a, an evolution line to the Pokemon just so you can know how to play in your team and whatnot. So that'll be a little bit of perspective as I continue through uh, the gameplay and whatnot, because I don't like, I should be going in blind, right? But also I like to be informed. You like to be informed probably. So that's going to be what I do over here. More windmills to explore. Oh, you're a difficult trainer. I can tell already. So, um, there's a Swablu. Oh, give me go. Hi. Hello. Thank you for one little coin. There's a little grasshopper there. So before I go, oh, I'm going to go up the uh, lighthouse over here. But then I'm going to use some of this EXP candy I have because I feel like I have a bunch of it and I haven't used it 
properly as I should be, which means uh, I can evolve certain Pokemon a little bit more quickly here. As fate would have it. <laughs> As fate would have it. Wow. You climbed all the way up the stairs? What? Hold up. Hold up. What? I'm battling on the... S what? Okay. Okay. Oh, that's super effective. So as Faye would have it, there's a Thunderstone, which means I can evolve Tadbulb right now. Very cool. Very, very cool. So I will wait until after the next area, mostly because I feel like I haven't used Tadbulb enough to have a good idea of what the Pokemon is like, and I want to maintain that a little bit. Like... Fuecoco did not have uh, a lot of time in the spotlight because it quickly evolved into um, Crocoloc. So I want to have a little bit of time with Tadbulb, you know? So I could keep Tadbulb as Tadbulb forever, but, you know, the uh, attack will be a little bit better as, um, as, uh, what's it called? I already exited out of the window. That's fine. I can just Belly Bolt. It's Belly Bolt, which is, a, I get, it's a thunder and water type. It's really cool. That's really spicy. So at least to level 19. So there we go. Oh, uh, yep. Anybody new over here? No, definitely not. So what if I just send out Mankey over here, right? No, not that. So I think with these raid dens over here, the, the color pertains to the typing. No, because that... The t maybe the Terra typing, and it's supposed to be a dark type, or rather a psychic type. So that would kind of make sense. But, you know, that's all right. Real quick, nope, that's, I'm pressing the wrong button here. In here, in my bag, I can actually see some EXP candy, right? Where is it over here? Yeah, I got four rare candy, three medium candy. I got a whole bunch of candy here. So I'm going to use this on Mankey here. I got nine, sure, just go for it. There we go. Leveling up all the way to 18 there. Small candy, sure. Let's, like, just to boost everybody here. There we go. Up to level 20, which is spicy. I'm going to use the items here. Um, up to 25? Whoa. You are gonna want to teach Mankey Cross Chop. Pro Gamer Tip. You're gonna want to use this one. Let's see. Um, the target is thrown. It inflicts damage equal to the user's level. So that's not really as effective. So I'm gonna go with this instead. You're gonna want to teach your Pokemon Cross Chop, for sure, okay? That's exactly what you're gonna want to do. So now I have to level up Mankey in a battle, which means I gotta do this. I can't believe the medium candy put me up that much at level 25. Wow! That is very impressive. Very, very impressive. So you can see that move there. Um, use this move as often as possible. That's your tip there. So now I have to... I guess I have to evolve Mankey through battle. Right? I'll let you know. Mankey evolves at level 28, not 20. So I'm waiting till level 28 in that case. I was carrying a coin! This little trainer here. Yeah, all right. I'll show me defeating this little person here. This little Yasmin the student. Okay. And there's also this uh, 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 fortress up here. So I could go after the fortress as well. You know what I mean? Lots of things to go after. And then I want to rename. Oh, low kick, super effective. Well, don't you say. Don't you know. Actually, I could evolve Mankey into Primeape right now because I have some rare candies. Do I want to do that? Is that something I want to do? I'm not quite sure. Let's say I go for a cross chop here. For the sake of it, bada bang. Okay. So Teddy Ursa is totally down. So using any of the sidekicks or any of the whatever, right? I don't know. That's it's fine. Uh Tinka Tank. Tinka Tink. Tinka 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 Tinka. Ooh, you look very cute. With the with a little 
fist looking thing. You got, you got the, got the, the clobbering hammer. Yeah. Okay. So that's not super effective ever. Oh, COVID. Uh, what is the pro gamer move here? Assurance? Maybe that's a fairy type, most likely. Okay, not very effective against that, but that's okay. Can I survive? Yes, I can. Nice. Okay, covet on here. Taste of your own medicine, and you're down. All right. So, fairy type moves are strong against. I forget what type. I, I have no idea. But hey, there we go. It's a nice bit of uh, XP there, and a new Pokemon to showcase to all of you, which is sweet. I'm trying so hard, but I just can't. It doesn't even matter. Er, 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 er. Boom, do, doon, doon. I'm going to go for this Pokemon Center. And then I'm not seeing... Again, like, there's just a lot of Pokemon that are hanging around here. But now that I have three members on the team, I'm feeling really good about it. I'm feeling really good about every aspect of uh, the game at this point. Going after that area, whatever is looming... I haven't challenged one of those one of those things yet. The the team battles or whatnot, or the the enemy team, the star team. I should do that. Uh, how many? No, I don't want the technical machine machine. You, hey man, Pokemon rep there. You defeated six. Once you defeat nine, I can talk to you. Okay. So the more trainers I defeat, the better off I'm gonna be. All right. So you see these flags over here? That probably means that I'm entering into an area <coughs> that has a enemy team of some kind. We have uh, Torkoal hanging around here. Ghastly. All right. Uh, Ghastly's been hanging around a ton. There's a ton of Ghastly's like everywhere. Is this like a fortress? Like a legit fortress over here? Yeah, it totally is. Okay. Ooh. Ru -da 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 -da. You're encroaching on the first enemy base ever. Cool. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of the Team Star bases. Uh, I guess I decided to join one of the operations. Yeah, sure. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen once I do, what are you? Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? And who are you? You look like your hair has taken a long time to make, Clive. No need to get your hackles raised. What's a hackle? Okay, as shy as ever, I see. We're talking about the, I, we don't know who this is. Besides, I tend to get uh, the job done. Not that you need to take my word for it, but it's true. All right, so I guess Clive is going to join us on the perusing here. Now, I don't know if we're stuck in this area once we're here, but whatever. I see in that case, I won't press you further. Now, go back to business. Let's talk about the Starfall operation here. You'll defeat the bosses of the team and then put an end to their reign, or rule, I should say. Cool. So I see these two up here. And it's like a combination of um, the not Team Galactic. Uh, what's what's the team from uh, Sun and Moon? Uh, team Skull, kind of ragtag in a little way. They must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base, Brian. Now all Team Star knows we're looking for a fight. Cool. Uh, the rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders. The bases themselves are a comfortable size. That's why your skills are essential, Brian. Defeat the Pokemon and in the base inside. Uh, you need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. Cool. That means I can't operate outside of there. So basically, uh, this entity is like, hey, um, I'm not helping you. Uh, good luck. And Clive is here too. So that was the whole thing there. Go get him, Brian. Uh, I have no idea what you mean. But if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Yes. And he goes off into the distance, not to actually help us in any capacity whatsoever. So, did that rock wall appear out of nowhere? Is that just me or did the rock wall appear? Where am I? There's a rock wall that appeared out of nowhere, right? Is that just me? It might just be me. Hey y'all, what's going on fam? These battles I'll show. Any battle that's like a required battle to get into the base or something, um, I will show that as a means of uh, letting you know what's going to be happening around here. Uh, we don't take kindly to random strangers and stuff. Uh, you know, the piece of work with Team Star there. These literally are the exact two people that we faced off against before. Uh, and I know this for sure because the other guy is um, having his arms above his head and that lady was having that pose before. So these are the exact same people, except with sunglasses on at night, which makes you especially obnoxious and you need to be dealt with accordingly. 
Go on, Mankey. Have fun. Uh, maybe a fighting type move is going to take care of you in one go. A little bit of low kicking action here. Yeah, a decent amount there. All right. Wing a holy macaroni and cheese, Batman. Let's go, let's go for this. Um, maybe some uh, influence for Tadbulb here. Not looking too hot right now. That might be good. Um, oh, it's a flying type. It's a dark and flying type. So definitely having an electric type is a way to go out toward this way here. Yeah, and it's not very effective either. Gotta love that. Thundershock, baby. Let's go. Survive that no problem whatsoever. Even with the level disparity... It's going to be fine. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. So it looks like it also didn't... Um, it didn't take to the paralysis there. So that's interesting. Sometimes the paralysis factors in. Maybe sometimes it doesn't. Whatever. Murkrow's down. We have... Up next, all 300 XP. That's good. Only one Pokemon? You're going to have to move that giant pixelated crate some way, somehow, man. Could have given me a double battle here. That would have been fine. How could I lose? It's your problem now. Finish it up. Okay. You could have just done a double battle. Yeah. Where did you go? This game is so well made. It's awesome. It's such a quality title. It really is. Um, where did you go? ra ta 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 See, it took care of the guard. Oh, it's only one guard. The other guard disappeared. Okay. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts to finish him off himself. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can there. Interesting. So I'll make sure everybody's healed up accordingly and pursue my way through the base. Uh, it keeps facing me the wrong way. Uh, sure. That's fine. All three Pokemon in my party. Yes. That's fine. So now I'm stuck inside the base. Wait, so this guy didn't help me? We could have had a double battle situation here, man. Um, we can have them battle at the same time. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Um, heads up, gang. Some kid just jumped the wandering fence. If you defeat 30 Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. So it's just like an open gauntlet? That's kind of interesting. Send your Pokemon out with R to try to defeat a set number of Team Stars Pokemon before time runs out. You lose a Star Barrage if all your Pokemon get too worn and time runs out. Defeat 30 of Team Stars Pokemon. Okay. So first of all, what I'm going to do is heal up real quick. Oh, everybody's already healed. Okay. Um, so, Mankey's absolutely going to one-hit KO a bunch of these Pokemon here. Yes. There we go. That's what I like to see. All right. So there's three. Um, okay, so they're all going to be teaming up all around here, right? Not this way? What? Oh, okay. Just go ahead, Mankey. Go ahead, Fue Coco. That's fine. Yeah, there it is. I have 10 minutes to do this? Seriously? There's a lizard. Come on. Whoa. Go over here, yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's eight. Now, there's a healing station, isn't there? Somewhere I can make this happen? Yeah, right over here. Is this a, is it, this is a vending machine. A random vending machine out in the middle of nowhere here. Um, I use Team Star's vending machine to refuel my... This is so incredibly easy. Are you serious? So I just have to send out Pokemon like this, right? I just gotta send them out. You're done. You're done. Okay. So if I Coco, you go. Right, you're done. How do you not do this in 10 minutes? There's no way you not do this in 10 minutes. That's literally impossible. Like, you have to be r probably really underleveled or bad to, like, not do this in 10 minutes. This is crazy. This is, like, crazy... Kind of easy, low-key. Yeah, there we go. Get this done. Tadbulb can do something, right? Where did Tadbulb go? I don't even know, actually. Okay. How about this? Oh, I just jumped off the cliff. Not even factoring in uh, the Rotom phone. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is weird. 
This is really weird. I'm defeating all these Pokemon in like two minutes. <laughs> this is bizarre. Okay. <laughs> Am I getting XP from this? I should be. I definitely should be. D d ding, 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 ding. <laughs> all right. Okay. So I did this in literally two minutes. Um, two minutes and 40 seconds. Not even. We gotta get to the boss. I might be just severely overleveled. Oh, that's a car. I've seen the car before. I've seen the car. Yep. I get it now. Okay. You look like a Pokemon, actually. Boss of Team Star's Dark Crew, Gia Giacomo. Giacomo. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be very dark and sinister on my Rottweiler car. That's definitely not a Pokemon. I go by D -D -D DJ Vice. Call me whatever. It's a vibe either way. Don't worry, I'll play a sick Requiem as we get this party started. You know what I mean? That's what uh, you have in mind is a nice little DJ set. And dark screens in between loading. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. Challenged by Giacomo of Team Star. Okay, so we have um, not Corviknight. It's like a knighted kind of Pokemon here. This is a steel and dark type, most likely. Uh, you don't think I'm going to let you go through, do ya? Team Star's got a whole big thing. Ponyard, I should say. All right. We're going to go with um, Cross Chop. See how it goes. Terrestrialize. Testralize. Testralize. Mobilize. Defend Ice. Ice Ice. Ice Ice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Looks like a tornado. I forget. Oh, it's definitely. Oh, it's a fist. It's a fist. You see it? It's like a fist with the. With the. Oh my goodness, get absolutely Dunkaroo dipped into the Funfetti dipping. Wow. <laughs> Giacomo set out Rever Room. Time to up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Rever Room? The car. The car's a Pokemon. The Stegen Starmobile. You know how I said it's kind of lame that they have like all these Pokemon that have... I thought that said Wicked Tongue, and I'm like, whoa. Um, that they have um, weird Pokemon. Like, this is a car Pokemon, you know? That's kind of weird. And I am severely overleveled. So, sure. Just keep going for the cross chop. Wicked Tongue. <laughs> keep cross chopping a Mankey. Go for it. Terrestrial. Oh, my super effective critical hit. One more time. Give me that torque. It's not going to matter. That's a giant Pokemon, by the way. That Pokemon's massive. Oh, you avoided the attack. So, for the sake of it, I'm going to swap out to Kabungus. Just because I don't want to make it a faint and lose all that XP on the quest to becoming level 28. Going up against a Stegen Starmobile is spicy. I thought I saw... So the car is gonna... Ex is the Pokemon gonna explode? Because you see the, the car is smoking. Like, like, like the Pokemon is smoking. Which it's for losers, by the way. Smoking's for losers. But it's literally emitting smoke. Out of the Pokemon. Okay. What? What do you mean the vibe is killed, bruh? What do you mean, bruh? Bruh. Guess that's that. So do you ride your Pokemon? That's kind of messed up. About a year and a half ago. We're going back in time. I guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted me to take on some stuff, so we had a chat and settled on a few plans. Like what? Operation Star, first of all. Also a new code to conduct for the team. You know how tons of members have joined up recently. We got to make up some team rules like a code. Uh, that's too much pressure. I used to be the president of the student council, but everyone needed ended up hating me. So are these like the renegades from the school, like the rejects from the school? It's kind of what it seems like. 
But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. So I kind of defeated the leader of the, the, the pawns, it seems like. So that's cool. That was very easy, too. I wrote that code for myself, and there's no going back to it now. My days as boss are over, so take my star badge, would you? So there's a whole different set of badges, too. Team, team Star's Dark Crew defeated. The Star Falls Street. Nice. And it's a choice TM, too, for foul play. All right. Uh, so that's where the party ends. But let's talk about the Pokemon of yours are crazy strong. You like those trainer chops at the Academy. I guess I did. All right. No kidding, huh? Uh, sorry to interrupt. Are you Giacomo? Wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. <laughs> uh, just for a quick word, wouldn't you mind? Are you actually the Team Star Captain? Seems like the Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. Oh! They're enrolled? A, f a close friend of yours there? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion, there's a top trainer, you know? We call him the big boss. We thought if we keep Team Star going, then they get back in touch one day. Well, that's not how that works. But the teachers keep being uh, noobs or rookies or whatever. Team Star is, and this big boss of yours are really that important to you? It's the sky blue. Let me put it in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my treasure. Aw, they care for their team, and they're so very loving of each other. Now, if only they weren't, like, low-key evil, then that'd be even more adorable. But anyways... So I cleared that out. Unfathomably easy. If anything, the battle against that sky giant was way more difficult, you know? So I see. With its boss out of the picture, the Segan squad is pretty much done for. Sure. Oh, Giacomo. Sorry, I got caught up in my thoughts for a second. This is probably, like, the boss. And the, the, the boss is like, yeah, you gotta take out all these hooligans, you know? Took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of technical machines. Oh, so you get new abilities that way. Cool. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making the TMs. Oh. So... You! Oh, hi! I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of that tight spot on the stairs there. Yeah, I did. You're welcome. Helping out with Operation Starfall and the Treasure Hunt. Here you go. Bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Lots of Pokemon material. So even if you don't go after all the wild Pokemon, you still get some materials here to craft TMs to have stronger moves to go against the Titans and the Gyms. That's cool. So they kind of thought of everything if you're skipping out on some parts. I like that aspect. So you're not, like, left in the dust if you're trying to, like, get to one thing or another thing. So that was very easy, very cool. And the next thing on the roster here, as I'm just wandering, uh, perusing through here, there's a water-type gym over here, or there's this rock thing over here. So I could go for either of them. Uh, real quick, what I'm going to do, just so everybody's on the same page here, because I feel really bad that Mankey got all those levels and whatnot. And then I'm leaving, um, I'm leaving uh, be uh, the impending Belly Bolt in the, the dust here. So I'm going to use all four of my rare candy on Tad Bulb here. Kind of get everybody on a similar uh, pathway here. So Thundershock or this. Paralysis, basically it's a more powerful Thundershock, so that's fine. I'm going to wait until level 30 to um, use the Thunderstone on Tad Bulb and do all that. So my next thing I want to do, I do want to go after this uh, this Titan, which seems to be over toward this way into this giant... Oh, there's a fallen tower over there. Oh, it's a desert. This is a whole other thing in of itself. So I'm going to head over toward this way. I'm going to think of some names for Pokemon, and I'll see you again next time for more Pokemon uh, Scarlet on the Nintendo Switch. Look at these beautiful graphics. I'll see you next time. Bye.